What's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to understand the modalities used to treat wounds so that you can properly take care of your patients. And also pass the NPTE. The most common modality is a wound vac, also known as negative pressure wound therapy. It's used for severe chronic wounds that just won't heal. The vacuum can help control moisture, kill bacteria, and increase blood supply to the wound to help speed up the healing process. After the wound is cleaned and debrided, if necessary, it is filled with this porous foam that's pretty thick that you'll cut to the shape of your wound. That's then covered with a transparent film that sticks to the skin around the area. A tube is inserted through a small hole in this film that attaches to the wound vac itself to create that suction. These patients really can't do a whole lot and it's hard to get reimbursement for wound therapy in an outpatient setting, so they're used mostly in home health or in the hospital. The most accessible wound healing modality is electrical stimulation, which can include high volt pulsed current. The negatively charged electrode is placed just distal to the wound. As inflammation is typically negatively charged as well, the similar charges will repel each other pushing that fluid farther up the body. The positively charged electrode is placed proximally and the opposite charge will pull the fluid again into the body to help recirculate it. Iontophoresis is another type of electrical stimulation that is used to help with wound healing. This involves using charged electrodes to push a medication into the body. For example, dexamethasone which is negatively charged, and lidocaine, which is positively charged, these are both ions that are used to help get rid of inflammation. The medication is placed under the similarly charged electrode to help disperse it deeper into the body to help with that healing. Another modality that you'll hear of is a hyperbaric oxygen chamber where you're breathing 100% oxygen at two to three times the atmospheric pressure. Now this can hyperoxygenate the tissue in diabetic wounds or thermal burns, and it can help to decrease edema, kill bacteria, and speed the healing rates of these burns. Hyperbaric oxygen chambers are pretty expensive, so you'll only see them in higher end hospitals or in specific wound or burn centers. Growth factor is a natural stimulant that can tell healing cells like macrophages to get to work. It's typically used for diabetic wounds that have pretty good blood supply, but it's not commonly seen in the US. Now it's time for NPTE Jeopardy. Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Lidocaine has a positive charge, so you want the same charge on the electrode placed over top. The similar charges will repel each other, pushing the medication into the body. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy, or you can drop me a comment with questions or suggestions for videos I should do on the future. Good luck studying. Go change the world.